The Advance Motor Manufacturing Company was a British motorcycle and engine manufacturer established in 1905. As well as supplying aircraft engines to the pioneering monoplane developers, Advance engines were also used by Captain Robert Scott to power Antarctic snow sleds. After the end of the Second World War the company was sold to Sheepbridge Engineering and became a motor supplies organization. History The Advance Motor Manufacturing Company Limited was incorporated on 31 May 1905 with registered offices at Louise Road, Northampton by Douglas Herbert Gainsford and Frederick Smart, with an original share capital of £10,000. Gainsford and Smart previously ran a bicycle shop in Northampton that also hired out motorcycles, and from 1903 when Joseph Power joined them they began designing and manufacturing engines and motorcycles. The reliability of advance engines was such that it was not long before they were in demand from other motorcycle manufacturers and they came to be exported all over the world, moving to a larger factory on the corner of Kingsthorpe Road and Balmoral Road in 1912. Advance ended vehicle production to concentrate on reconditioning engines and making components, including the multi speed mechanism for Zenith motorcycles and engines for Dusmo motorcycles, producing everything in house except for cylinder castings as well as producing their own products and supplying stationary engines for driving agricultural machinery advance were agents for Kerry cars and dealers for brown and barlow carburetors advance were also pioneers and innovators with a number of patents for components such as the advance adjustable pulley the basis of the gradua multi speed mechanism that aided the ascent of steep hills and their adjustable belt fastener they had a sister company that was incorporated in 1916, Standard Valves Limited, which manufactured replacement valves for the motor trade. By 1936, Advance had become contractors to the War Office, Admiralty, and the Air Ministry, providing specialist engineering services including cylinder re grinding and repairs, case hardening and grinding. Sometime between 1949 and 1953 Advance was sold to Sheepbridge Engineering of Chesterfield and renamed Advance Motor Supplies Limited, and in 1979 they were taken over by GKN plc who changed the name to GKN Replacement Services Limited in 1982. The name was changed again by 1984 to GKN Auto Parts Distribution Limited, then in January 1990 it became Partco Limited and finally Partco Auto Parts Limited in October 1995. As of October 2011, the company was still on the UK register of companies, but is shown as being dormant. Topic: <laughs> Motorcycles. <laughs> 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 The 1904 360cc Advance 2 and 3 quarters horsepower, 2.05 kilowatts motorcycle on display at the National Motorcycle Museum, UK, is thought to be the only complete Advance motorcycle in existence. The engine has an automatic inlet valve above a mechanical exhaust valve, and the rear wheel is driven by a belt from the crankshaft. Pedals and a free wheel hub are provided for starting and helping the engine on steep hills. The handlebar grips, pedal blocks and the box for the ignition's accumulator are all made of wood. The 2 and 3 quarters horsepower engine was replaced by a 3 horsepower 2.2 kilowatts version, a 3 and a half horsepower 2.6 kilowatts and a 6 horsepower 4.7 kilowatts V-twin, all with the same basic design of automatic inlet valves and a one-piece cylinder head and barrel. The Advance engines quickly gained a reputation for reliability and were much in demand from other motorcycle manufacturers. In 1907 Advance's sales catalogue listed a range of motorcycles with the different engines and a ladies' version of 3 horsepower. In 1908 Advance appeared for the first time in the motorcycle as motorcycle manufacturers, with a range of motorcycles and three-wheelers including a new 9 horsepower motorcycle with an air-cooled engine. Topic: Trickers and forecars. In addition, Advance made a six horsepower forecar and six and nine horsepower trickers, all of which were available with air or water cooled engines. These forecars were fitted out by Chaitley, including the sprung chassis and two-speed gearbox, which also had a neutral position. The brakes were foot operated, and all controls were contained within the steering wheel. 
The 9 horsepower tricar had trembler coil ignition and was cooled by twin radiators with a belt driven pump. The Chaitali 3 speed gearbox also had a reverse gear, and front and rear seats had springing for comfort. Topic Advance V4 Aero Engine The Advance V4 Aero Engine was made from two V-twin engines bolted together back to back. One of the engines would have been running backwards and it is not known how the crankshafts were joined. The carburetor was a Brown and Barlow Type 65 DU or GU as used by cars of the time and fed a 1 into 2 into 4 manifold. With an output of 20 brake horsepower 15 kilowatts and a capacity of 2,290 cc, the flywheel was 9.25 inches in diameter and weighed 36 pounds 16 kilograms. The engine revved to 1,800 revolutions per minute. Gros monoplane The Gros monoplane was built in Oakington in 1909 by Alfred Gros and Neville Fury, to attempt to win the Daily Mail prize of £1,000 for the first British aircraft to fly a circular mile with a British pilot. The Advance V4 aero engine was chosen to provide the power and in its first trial the monoplane was tethered to a tree but it never flew. It was eventually dismantled and taken to de Havilland at Hatfield. Dixon Nipper Another aircraft to use the Advance V4 aero engine was the Dixon Nipper No. 1, designed and built by H.S. Dixon in 1911 with a wingspan of 26 feet A single-seat canard pusher monoplane, the Nipper flew but crashed and was completely wrecked in an accident at Acton. The contribution of the Nipper to the development of flight was recognized by Hollywood, however, as a non-flying replica was built for comedian Tony Hancock's plane in the 1960s comedy film Those Magnificent Men in Their Flying Machines, called The Little Tiddler. <laughs> Hammond monoplane The Hammond monoplane used a 30 horsepower, 22 kilowatts water-cooled Advance V4 engine and was built at Brooklands in the summer of 1913. A single-seat monoplane, it was designed and built by experienced pioneering aviator Edward Victor Hammond, who had built and flown a biplane in 1910 and a triplane in 1911 at Brooklands. The Advance engine was modified by Hammond, and the fuselage consisted of a pair of parallel steel tubes. Topic: Handley Page Bluebird. The first powered Handley Page aircraft, the Type A Bluebird of 1910, used an Advance V4 engine. A single-seat monoplane, the Bluebird was made of wood covered with fabric, and crash landed on its maiden flight on the 26th of May 1910. Changes were made to improve control and a more powerful Alveston flat twin engine of 25 horsepower 19 kilowatts replaced the Advance. When the Bluebird was exhibited at Olympia in April 1911, it had progressed to a 35 horsepower 26 kilowatts green engine, which in turn was replaced by an Isaacson radial engine and first flew the 15th of July 1911, once again crash landing. So it may have been the airframe design rather than the Advance engine that was the cause of the problem. Topic Antarctic snow sled The engine developed for the Gros monoplane was also tested in Norway in 1909 as a snow sled engine by Antarctic explorer Captain Robert Scott. The engine was changed to an inline four-cylinder 16-horsepower unit with mechanical inlet valves, rather than their usual automatic valves. It used a Brown and Barlow carburetor and had a Bosch magneto ignition. The motorized sledge engine was designed to run for 300 miles 480 km, carrying three quarters of a ton at a top speed of just 3 miles per hour 4.8 km per hour. In the coverage of Scott's departure on 1 June 1910 the New York Times quoted him as saying they would take the motorized sledges as far as they could and hoped they would relieve the ponies and dogs of weight and increase the safety of the return journey. Sources External links P. 
Picture of the Advance Motorcycle Picture of the Advance V4 engine Picture of the Dixon Nipper aeroplane <laughs>